man it's really hot today let's make some lemonade shall we first we grab some water let me get my lemons mm -hmm. and that's right let's cut it into half just like this and be ready to squeeze it into water that's right now let me add some sugar or maybe honey I love a sweet lemonade hmm? why isn't the honey mixing in the lemonade oh wait this isn't honey this is oil but wait oil is also a liquid it should mix into water why is the oil floating on top of water hmm let's solve this mystery with an experiment let's go hello friends i am albert einstein and welcome to my lab where you and i will be exploring science beyond your books around us in things that surround us so let's get started today's experiment is rainbow in a jar for this experiment we need number one a tall glass or any other transparent container up next the same quantity of all these liquids some honey hand wash water oil finally our new favorite hand sanitizer let's go step one we begin by weighing all the liquids first up is hand sanitizer it weighs 207 grams up next is oil it weighs 211 grams that's a bit more than sanitizer after this water water weighs 214 grams that's slightly more than oil and now hand wash the hand wash weighs 216 grams that's quite a lot compared to water and finally honey honey weighs 231 grams notice how hand sanitizer weighs the least and honey weighs the most even though we have taken the exact same quantity of all these liquids hmm. now let's begin pouring each of these liquids into the tall glass first up is my honey up next hand wash and after this is water we will use a funnel to pour the water and now oil and finally let's stop it all with the hand sanitizer and there you have it your rainbow in a jar now you go ahead and make your own rainbows did you notice something cool happening here? Did you? Yes, the liquids did not mix into each other. But why? Why did the liquids stand separately from one another? The liquids stand separately from one another because they have different densities. As you can see, heavier liquids like honey and hand wash that are more dense than water settle at the bottom whereas lighter liquids like oil and hand sanitizer that are less dense than water float on top this shows us that liquids with low density float on top of liquids with higher density uh, i hope that this word dense is not making you more dense because friends density it will make sense all you have to do is look around yourself anything you can see is made up of atoms and molecules well density tells us how tightly packed the atoms and molecules of a thing are in a given volume let's look at our liquids 
even though they occupied the same amount of space or volume, some stayed at the bottom while others floated on top. Why did this happen? This happened because each liquid has its own unique mass. And mass is nothing but the atoms and molecules inside that liquid. The more tightly packed the molecules are, the greater the mass of that object. And more mass is equal to more density. You know, it's just like our malls before the lockdown. They were so crowded, people were tightly packed inside the malls just like the atoms and molecules of honey. And now, the same malls have less people, so they are less dense, just like our hand sanitizer. Now you see how simple density is. As the mass increases in a given volume, the density increases. And when the mass decreases in the same volume, the density decreases. And remember friends, liquids with low density always float on top of liquids with higher density. Just like our lemonade, isn't this cool? So friends, now that this dense trouble is sorted, I'm getting back to making my lemonade. In the meantime, you go grab your things and let's get funneling.